and GB. Ooh, have I done the Fed A? Uh, survey says no. All right, fair enough. So this is the uh, Federation A. Hmm. Of course, the most important part of any FTL mission is the name for the ship. Hmm. So many things. So uh, the Fed A, it comes with, what's special about this ship is it comes with an artillery beam. Uh, most people consider it a decent ship. I've had some pretty bad luck with it though. I think I only actually have two clears on hard mode with this one. But I've learned so much since then. But most people consider it a fairly strong ship. We do have four crew members, which is nice, an NG and a rock, so that gives us a lot of blue options. Burst laser two, best purchasable weapon in the game. Uh, and like I said, the artillery beam is pretty good against the flagship late game. So it has like all the parts. Hmm. Shouldn't be this hard to think of a name. I did not prepare. All right, we just. That'll work. Okay, yeah, so uh, again, we have an NG, we have a rock, human mantis, four crew, super nice. The uh, sort of the tricky aspect of the ship is, aside from the fact the artillery beam takes up a uh, system slot, hello to Nundry. Uh, it can be sort of tricky if you don't have weapons and you kind of have to switch over to relying on the artillery beam. Best case scenario is sort of ignoring the artillery beam until late in the game and then just putting bonus points in it to up your DPS. All right, I think we can start though. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet and you'll need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. All right, so first things first is we're going to move some crew around. All right, so we're gonna put a rock on pilot. If you notice, our piloting is pretty far away from any doors. So if a fire breaks out, uh, I won't be able to vent it very well. Rocks are immune to fire. Uh, if we get boarded in there at 150 HP, very solid uh, in dealing in that situation. Uh, so most people would consider rocks the second best to pilot uh, behind slugs, just because slugs cannot be mind controlled. I of course want the NG to go roam around the ship being able to do repairs, and I want the Mantis to deal with borders. So that's why I put them in the systems that they're in. NG's in doors to slow the borders, and then my Mantis can help uh, take out uh, enemies wherever they are. Hey the Brian, thank you for the host. How's it been going? I believe you are once again back on the FTL. Uh, and then, you know, just human and engines. So ideally in Sector 1, what I want is to get uh, our second shield online. It'll be a lot safer for our ship at that point. Try and find a weapon as well. If you want tonight, how goes your space? Uh, it's going pretty well. Hoping to continue the uh, win streak here tonight. Picked a relatively good ship. But you never know, sometimes you just get bad RNG, hopefully not. Well, a store right off the bat, that's kind of gross. Won't be heading there unless we get some crazy free items. Yeah, so hopefully uh, quickly able to get a second shield online and then a weapon just to uh, help out the burst. Uh, 
Okay, you have a heavy laser and a beam behind a Zoltan shield. We're going to go ahead and attack the Slaver Scum. Go ahead and move our... I did say positions, right? Probably not. All right, we'll move him to shields. There's no point in having doors. Potential training. Oh, that's good evasions. Bit scary, they do have a heavy laser and a mini beam. So as long as the mini beam doesn't hit us in the shields, we're okay-ish. All right, got the shields down. Try and take down their weapon system. All right, so with the mini beam on, the one shield bubble means we're safe. So the artillery beam takes a whopping uh, okay, actually, I'm curious what's going on over there. Oh, that's uh, not sensors. Well, my trailer beam's gonna fire. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it's unfortunately, they're not uh, offering me up a crew. I was hoping for another crew member. That's all right. Scrap is pretty good. We do have four starting crew. Two fuel, one drone, 20 scrap. Okay, go back to doors. All right, an asteroid field. And really? More Zoltan shields. Okay, this is pretty gross. If I had the option to run away from this fight, I would. Okay, so they have an ion. And it's a heavy. And they also have a uh, heavy laser. So that does two damage. That will knock out our shield bubble for 10 seconds. And we're in the middle of an asteroid. My hope is that asteroids hit their Zoltan shield a lot of times. So that the second volley from my burst laser can actually deal damage to their ship. And don't get hit in the weapons. Okay, so the asteroid just hit the heavy laser before it hit our weapon system there. That's a miracle. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, so the weapon system's now down. Want to make sure it stays that way. I guess if you believe in omens. All right, yeah, the artillery beam takes 50 seconds at level one to uh, fire. Let's get out of here. Could I not have a Zoltan ship? That'd be nice. All right, especially when our pirate ship approaches you, hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free. We will never surrender one of our crews to slavers. Have an ion and a missile, okay. So that's probably an Artemis missile. Most, uh, most ships in sector one have three powered weapon systems. So that's uh, most likely an Artemis versus a Lado. Two damage confirms it's an Artemis. So I want to take their weapons offline. Okay, that caused a breach on our ship. Just keep pelting their weapon system since this is two power. Good stuff. Uh, we surrender, take one of our slaves as tribute. It's Brian. Um, sure, I can do with a fifth crew member. I will accept their offer. Sure. 
shun him. Oh, he's an oh, is he like an imposter? Is there some sort of Brian West Coast East Coast Brian turf war that I should uh, be aware of? All right, that one will go into door since it's slightly trained on shields. Who gets I versus Y? Y versus I. Okay. Uh, I come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately. Greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the Federal blockaded this system. Well, you know, give a neighbor a cup of sugar. Give a um, asteroid mining colony five missiles. Sure. Reactor upgrade. Okay. That was about uh, 20 scrap. Ooh, well, I guess we can't take that offer then. That's fine. All right, so mini beam, two powered weapon system. Oh, I'm sorry, not two powered. That's just a basic laser. We will target their weapons as we do. Find a nebula so we can't see into their ship. Aw, man. All right, might as well send both to fix it. So this is typically what you want to do with enemy ships is of course knock their weapon system offline so they're no longer a threat. And then I tip would prefer targeting their shields. Depending on how much crew they have, it will often pull their pilot. So hitting their shields reduces the, you know, their, the bubbles that they have to absorb shots. And if it pulls the pilot, then their evasion drops drastically. 18 scrap, 56, no store, that's fine. Go ahead and get that shield online. All right, we're rocking two shields early. It's gonna make a lot of fights. Uh, not even a threat to us, which is nice. Uh, let's see, some across rebel ship distributing supplies. Oh, we can attack the rebels here giving people supplies. Whoa, okay, is that a defense drone one, anti-drone drone. That also will shoot down hacking drones, but we only have a heavy laser and a basic, so two shields, completely safe. This would actually be a really excellent ship to uh, train piloting and evasion against. They have two fairly quick firing weapons that cannot harm us. Okay, two missiles, one drone, nine scrap. Steal the civilian supplies, of course we will. The colonists hand over supplies and load it onto your ship. As you jump away and crack open, discover nothing more than vaccinations for a local plague. Always steal supplies. Actually, don't always steal supplies. You can't actually take whole damage on that event. It's just being coming from the surface of a nearby moon. And sensors are picking up a single life form. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked, explore the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Okay, so it doesn't say that their mental state is questionable. We can invite them to join our crew. He states he was a shield operator before being stranded, happens to offer services. Charlie, trained in shields. All right, well, let's go ahead and just put Charlie in shields and put the NG in sensors then. Might as well make use of his talents. Two, 
three. Okay, so an automated scout, basic laser missile. Let's try and knock down their weapon system. Since the missile is a threat. Nope, no breach. All right, piloting off flying and dead, doesn't get away. Three fuel, one drone, nine scrap. Okay, we have a missile. Now with boarding, it makes me think this is only a two power weapon system. It should only be a Lado and a heavy laser. Okay, three crews should only be one border. Uh, we'll just send the NG to tie him up. Well, you jerk. Um, okay, so that's a bit of an issue. Aside from that, I probably should A turn on my oxygen. But the Mantis is really slow on repairs. Trying to keep that missile down. Thank you. Uh, the ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like it wants to surrender. They are offering us three missiles, one drone, 13 scrap, and a weapon pre igniter. I mean, sure, I, I, I guess that's totally fine by me. I will accept your offer. So uh, yeah, weapon pre-igniter, that's worth about 120 scrap, sells for 60. Now it won't actually automatically charge our artillery beam, but it will auto charge all of our weapons on every jump. That's ridiculous. I was about to say the sector hadn't been amazing because we picked up, while well, picking up crew wasn't a top priority. Uh, we hadn't really had a lot of scrap, but worst case scenario is selling that for 60 scrap. All right, so now all we need is a weapon, and what also that allows us to do is actually be pretty uh, open with what we're going to accept as weapons. Like, slower weapons, sure, might as well take them online and uh, abuse the fact that they'll be automatically available every single jump right, as we get into it. Uh, ship with <clears throat> conspicuous pirate markings, uh, attack them before they can attack. And that's even more so because we have a pre-igniter. Okay. No, it doesn't actually come close to making the Vulcan good. Um, so it, all it does is it does, it's essentially it's a, a free charge. So it skips one cycle for the Vulcan, which takes a ridiculous amount of cycles to get going. Oh, you have a fire. Um, let's be greedy. Oh. All right. Uh, no, that's not good enough. I will not accept surrender. I just want a Vulcan ship to be cool. 
Um, I actually have an image where I ran into a double Vulcan ship. I was I was not amused. It was actually one of the smaller ships. It looked like their weapon system weighed more than the rest of the ship combined. Kind of hilarious. Uh, 17 scrap, one fuel, one drone. Okay, no store, next sector, Zoltan controlled or rebel controlled? Okay, so rebel controlled is gonna have a lot of fights as typical for red sector, and, but it's gonna be a lot of automated scouts. Zoltan controlled means there's gonna be more stores, but there's gonna be Zoltan shields. I don't wanna just go Zoltan controlled. I mean, we have the pre-igniter. That's going to help a lot dealing with Zoltan shields. This is just silly at this point. Currently, it's silly. Okay, well, here's our store. Hopefully, that will have a weapon. I want to get a few more scrap before we get to it. After I check out this hellacious sector layout. That's pretty gross. Okay, so we can probably get to these four jumps before the store. And then it looks like we're going to have to make our way up top here to the exit. I would like to, so yeah, I want to get another weapon online. Almost any weapon will do. And start getting two to three, uh, sorry, level three, level four engines in the next two sectors. You sort of can play really defensively with this ship because of the artillery beam, but again, uh, we kind of have a pre-igniter. So yeah, this is a fairly nasty ship. We have a burst one heavy laser. Okay, and now we're safe. Uh, <clears throat> now, an automated reloader actually does reduce the charge time of our artillery beam. Okay, 66 scrap. We could buy a flak. That's 65. Sultan's ship opens fire. It appears they're aggressive pugilists even among the enlightened. Okay, fair enough. We have a pike beam and a heavy laser, so we are safe. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and drop the pilot in. Unfortunately, their ship doesn't have enough hull to like perhaps get a uh, crew kill here. Oh, fire is super good though. I'm gonna turn off the artillery beam. How much health is he at? He's at 40, unfortunately that is three shots. Yeah, I can get him down to 10. So if you don't know uh, how they determine crew damage from weapons, it's 15 times whatever the base damage is. So every laser does one damage, so that's 15 health. Two fuel, 15 scrap, one missile. Okay, 81, hey, we could buy another burst laser. Okay, it's not really greedy. I just, again, want a little bit more scrap before we get to the store to uh, give us a chance at hopefully buying a really solid weapon. Uh, fortunately, this is just a Borders event. I turned off our sensors, rude. 
So I'm looking for red doors to show where they're boarding, or we'll see a little fight symbol. And apparently they're just gonna straight up jack my mantis here. Okay, I'll move all my crew over. Even though the NGs are pretty terrible fighters, just to uh, spread the damage around. I want to keep the uh, Mantis in there since he's the best fighter. 1.5 times damage. Should be able to win the fights from here. Okay, send the two rocks in to heal first because they're the slowest. Hole laser one, breach missile, hull beam. Okay, we also have mind control, couple drones. Uh, hole laser will be fine, even though it's two seconds slower than what we have, plus one less charge. Uh, it actually has a somewhat decent chance to cause breaches. Uh, sector two, it's unlikely, but it is t possible to start running into two shielded ships. It's pretty common in sector three that all the ships will be two shielded and possibly even three shields very rarely so being able to have more shots online super helpful okay so I need another 35 scrap before I can get it online with my uh, burst I'm also a little bit low on fuel I like to keep it at about 13 14 Go ahead and get one repair. Don't want to repair to full. There will be events we can get free repairs at. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's about five jumps. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll hit this nebula, which will decrease the jump, buying us a little bit more time. And then we can see between here if we can get an extra jump out of the sector or not. Come on, just need a little bit more scrap. All right, your weapon will be confiscated for processing. We weren't supposed to mine here. I didn't see a sign. They never put up a sign. Okay, let's maximize evasion. We can turn off O2. It's gonna slowly drain from our system. That's all right. So they have a chain laser and some sort of bomb. Don't know what it is yet. So we do want to take their weapons down. Nice. Go ahead and hit their shields. Asteroids will should do the rest of the work for us. Refuel, two missiles, 15 scrap. We can turn on the O2 while we wait for our engines to charge. When you're in one of these uh, hazard events, not only can your uh, ship not have improve, be improved, like buying upgrades, uh, normally when you win a fight, all your systems immediately come back online. Not so in these hazards. So we don't get the immediate jump. Let's see, they're offering us to participate in the study. We can get free scrap or a fight. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Eight scrap. Not amazing. Yeah, I don't... It's a bit of a risk to get to the uh, exit, trying to squeeze an extra jump out of it. 
kind of lame going to the store. I really don't want to buy anything. I just want to get my other weapon online. Another hole laser. Yeah, about the only thing I might have bought was long range scanners. I am super tempted to actually sell the pre-igniter just to get my other weapon online. Because we're going to start face, like I said, two shielded ships. So one evasion uh, means our burst isn't going to be enough to deal them damage. And it, seemed, it would be such a shame to actually sell it. Okay, let me double check, make sure I have, was it 70 scrap, 35, 25, 60 scrap. So I just need 20 more scrap. Yeah, okay, let's risk it. I can borrow the power from the oxygen and here. We wanna make sure that the weapon is powered before we jump, that's how the pre-igniter works. Oh, I could actually have an extra jump. Why did I think not? All right. Oh no, is this this jump here? I wasn't sure about. Uh, I will absolutely sell you ten missiles for thirty scrap. All right. So we've already got about uh, we got the reactor upgrade plus another thirty scrap here. That was close. Go ahead and buy the weapons upgrade. All right. Zoltan Homeworlds. Let's go to the Zoltan Homeworlds. Chance for the uh, Envoy event. Perhaps pick up a uh, free Zoltan shield. That event will be at a... There won't be a ship marker at the beacon. It'll just look like an empty jump but I don't have a long range sensors to tell me if there are actually ships anywhere. Okay, uh, so we are a little bit light in regards to power and engines. So I do want to increase some power, but our weapon system with a pre-igniter is kind of ridiculous. A little low on fuel as well, but not looking to buy any uh, systems this sector. So just every scrap will go to ship improvements barring something crazy at a store. But when does something crazy happen in an FTL run? Oh, come on, more intruders? I can't get scrap from these events. Again, they take out my sensors. Oh, okay, well, let's vent. Run these two crew into the med bay. The NG's just gonna stay here for the time being to hold the doors. Okay, we'll vent from the other side. Now oh, I should turn off the oxygen. Okay, I'm gonna move the human here and the NG to distract him to make sure like the oxygen drains from the room. Okay, they're already in the O2. Did he like sneak in while I was there? I didn't think that was possible. Okay, we'll just go ahead and let him in. Okay, turn on the O2. Med bay's on. So I said earlier how it's uh, tough to, you know, vent here with oxygen. I mean, we opened all the doors and they still didn't deplete the oxygen fast enough to push them out of the room. Okay, you need healed. Just move the human in for the repairs. We can rock engines. All right, 
just need some fights. A little bit of scrap goes a long way. Yep, two shielded ships. Got a missile and a heavy laser here. are so good. Really slows down repairs. Okay, you're gonna run away. Uh, 13 scrap is not enough. Wow, I'm surprised he's not helping with repairs considering how much damage it's taken. I mean, I guess fair enough. Okay, one fuel, one drone, 24 scrap. Scrap is good. Okay, now we can rock our second shield bubble. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is a Zoltan Peace Envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. So this is the uh, Zoltan Envoy. Option two. They continue. We take your silence uh, for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony and a bunch of other hooey. But either it is beyond our simple minds, or it's all nonsense. It's just nonsense. We finish. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those who have not heard. Once you have contact our brethren, they transmit coordinates of the so-called brethren. All right, where is this quest marker? Please be in the realm of possibilities. Okay. So this is a what seems to be a trap, but in fact is an event where we can get our Zoltan shield, perhaps, or an envoy, a fully trained Zoltan. And actually, I don't feel too bad chasing it because we also have the exit here in a nebula, so a dive won't be too, too nasty since we don't have to worry about an ASB. Wow, that's a fairly diverse slugs. Okay, they got boarding, looks like double missiles. And a basic laser, that's a little bit gross. Okay, go ahead, dodge 60% of my shots. It's fine, I'm okay. Okay, there goes my artillery beam. Okay, that's stunned. Try to take that out with their weapons again. Only 40% evasion that time. Okay, I have to keep an eye on where this missile's going and make sure it's not heading to my O2 because it will kill an NG. No, it's just gonna go my weapons. Sure, that makes sense. I can't get, uh, technically my evasion is low. Not technically, it is low, but. Really? What? The only reason this is a fight, aside from the fact that they have a lot of missiles, is because they dodged a ridiculous amount in the first volley. Really bad, really unfortunate for us. Now I need a store. So I can get repairs. OK, 
Can I please not miss 40% of my shots this time? Okay, this is now incredibly awful and bad. Okay, where is this missile coming from? Okay, I don't think my crew's actually chance of dying from it. They still have missiles up. Okay, I need to actually just heal crew here. Okay, they're still not out of missiles yet. All right, a volley actually hit. That's super nice of you, game. That's so kind. Okay, I do need my oxygen back on. Go ahead, heal up again. Five fuel, seven missiles, and 29 scrap, plus a defense drone mark one. Well, that sells for 25 scrap, so yeah, I will take your offer. No matter how much I want to murder them for that absolutely ridiculous bad RNG. So if we find a store nearby, we're fine. Can get some repairs. I simply couldn't take down their missile system. Yeah, we're not going to screw around. We're just going to go to the store right now. Sell the drone. Oh, there's a halberd beam. Well, that would be ridiculously amazing. do I actually want? I shouldn't have to buy a weapon. I do have five projectiles. That's typically good. Most ships are only going to have like level three engines. So level three engines is, is what? 15% evasion plus two crew is another 5% since they're not trained. So 25% evasion, 30% evasion at most in the sector. All right. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get an em engine improvement. It's only 15 scrap. Two Next two scrap goes to a power bar. I'm gonna heal up a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Okay, one, two, three, four, Or in distress. No, thank you. Ah, oh. all right. So we jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple incapacitated ships. Uh, avoid the risk and jump away. If we had level two piloting or a clone bay, we could risk uh, the chance of getting something free here. Elsewise, we're going to lose a crew member. Six. Or we could potentially lose a crew member. And what's really gross is that... Okay, I guess I can still do it. I still, I gonna have to actually have my weapons charged. Uh, okay. So that's one, that's a second, two, three, four. All right, uh, let's go ahead and secure the fuel supply. 
We're in a plasma storm. They're powered as half, and so is ours, but our weapons are up immediately. So they shouldn't have much power in their engines to avoid it, plus their uh, shield system should be kind of down. So let's go ahead. Thank you. Okay, they're only putting up the pike beam. So one shield bubble would actually be good enough for the pike beam, but let's just uh, wreck their weapon system. Hopefully. Okay, pike beam is still up. Okay, my weapons should still charge faster than the pike beam. Okay, pike beam is down. Switch on oxygen. Wow, they actually have power, but they're not bringing up their uh, heavy laser here. That's fortunate. Okay, I'm gonna drop my hole laser and put up a shield bubble to deal with the uh, beam. We got mind controlled. Oh, I don't even have somebody on weapons. What am I even doing? So that was kind of sketchy. My weapons would have charged uh, a lot slower then. FTL delayed. Let's make sure they go nowhere. Okay, cool. Wow, we obliterated it for the fuel supply of one fuel 10 scrap. If I didn't have the uh, pre-igniter, I wouldn't have taken that fight. That fight is, aside from being bad, uh, that it's a typically difficult fight because it's in a plasma storm, the rewards always seem kind of like totally awful. Shift power around again. I mean, 10 scrap for a Sector 3 fight. Something strikes you as odd about a moon in the distance. We will check it out. Closer inspection reveals signs of a habitation on the surface, but nothing else particularly interested. Oh, okay. If we had a missile weapon, we actually can get a uh, weapon cache here. No such luck. All right, you arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zultan, but the only thing nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We found you. We're not going to, you're not getting away this time. All right, we will attempt to hail them and uh, tell them we are on a mission of peace, because of course we are. <clears throat> they open up communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. But perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end any other way but war? True progress can only can only be achieved without bloodshed. I totally totally believe this. Suddenly, all indicators on the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. <gasps> the captain of the ship you met previously materializes on the bridge. Although your methods are crude and you're most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meaning to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in the fight, and I will personally assist. So we didn't get the Zoltan shield. That's a bit unfortunate. We did get an envoy, though, so fully trained Zoltan. Oh, what do I want to do with you? All right, we're gonna put them in engines. They are fully trained. Don't want to put them in, uh, so Zoltan gives us a power barn. Oh wow, my Mantis is almost trained on weapons. I kind of rather let him go. Uh, 
Yeah, not much for the human to do right now. That's all right. To the exit. All right, a fight, awesome. Let's target the weapons. Okay, we're now completely safe. Well, I should have just fired whole laser at empty rooms. Would have got bonus damage there. That's okay. Uh, ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, 18 scrap, and a backup DNA battery. Okay, so backup DNA battery would be a cool augment if we had a clone bay. It means if our clone bay gets damaged and taken offline, uh, we don't lose crew. All right, we're already at this jump before. We just jump to the next sector. Sector four, NG homeworlds are NG controlled. Uh, well, we have an NG on our ship. Let's go ahead and go NG homeworld. Okay, so this is gonna have probably about three stores. Unfortunately, not a lot of fights. What I sort of, what I really want is just scrap at this point. Uh, sector four is where I kind of start thinking about getting a uh, third shield bubble online towards the end of the sector. Uh, I would have actually liked one more engines before I'm here, before I got here. So we've gotten tons of free stuff, but we actually haven't been able to uh, stockpile scrap. Uh, totally going to attack your ship. Okay, you're boarding there. Mantis will help out. I keep just forgot I had a pre-igniter. Okay, we got a breach. Okay, they only have the NG left. 85 health. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is possible to get a crew kill in this situation. Oh no, wait, never mind. They have a clone bay. Sultans will be fine. I should just get my Mantis trained on weapons here. Okay, 30 scrap. Nice. I know it's greed, but I would like a like really solid one powered weapon. Heavy laser would be ideal. Okay, there's a storm. Let's go to the distress. A little beacon hiding behind the store. Where is the, uh, uh, okay, I gotta be down there. It's always tough to, in these sectors, we have to judge extra jumps. One, two, three, four. So I have to be here with four jumps remaining. One, two, three, or three jumps remaining. Giant alien spiders. Uh, don't have a clone bay, not risking crew. Leave them alone. I also have a bio beam, you get a blue option there. Just 
Distress beacon, tiny asteroid, hail and offer assistance. Uh, of course we'll try and shield the ship with ours right next to a store if we take hull damage. That'll be fine. So for one damage to our hull, we just got six fuel and 36 scrap. That's super worth. Okay, we can just vent that out. Ah, fire spreading in oxygenless areas. Hmm. I could actually take one more jump before the store. Yeah, let's do that. Again, we're also sort of likely to come across another store. Don't want to buy fuel. Um, it's actually a pretty good deal on fuel here. So now the question is, do I actually want to go to the store? I was more concerned about fuel than anything else. I mean, I guess it could have hacking, another weapon. That store I cannot go to, so that's the second of three stores. Yeah, let's hit this one then. Automated reloader, mind control. Mind control is kind of interesting. Also, sell the backup DNA battery. So what's nice about mind control is that we'll increase or uh, we can use that to mind control enemy pilots to decrease their uh, evasion temporarily. Uh, and since I can't find a weapon, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. We do have somebody on sensors that will allow us to see into enemy ships except in Nebula. Let's go ahead and explore the asteroid field. Five fuel. Speaking of asteroid fields, hey, that's a solid weapon system. Is that three shields, a flak two, and burst laser two, and tons of NGs? Are you gonna bore me with NGs? Oh, good God, you're gonna bore me with NGs. Okay, well, thank you for boarding into the Mantis. Let's try and take their weapon system down a peg. Okay. So at least got the uh, Flak 2 offline. Not safe by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, this can still, we only have two shields against three projectiles. Come on, dodges. Nice. Okay, weapon system. Not offline yet. Okay, you go into sensors, because I do want to see in their ship. I guess I could spurge and put a power on the beam. We almost don't need weapons then. What am I talking about? I still really actually want weapons. Well, so much for that. Okay, their evasion should be pretty bad. We already say damage to piloting, so I can't imagine they're actually going to dodge any of this. I need you to stop repairing things, if you, if you don't mind. Uh, four fuel, 13 scrap, no thank you. OK, 
Okay, 26 scrap for our efforts. Go ahead, repair. Heal you up, get your oxygen levels back. Probably my four. Uh, of course, I'll participate in your study. Okay, intruders on board. That's a missile. Oh, an event that puts intruders on board and they have uh, a teleporter. That's kind of gross. So if we can do at least three damage to their weapon system, we will take that missile offline, which is the real threat. Double NG borders. Here comes two humans. They boarded in the exact same area. Alright. Are you for real? Okay, that's cool. Go ahead, mind control. I didn't get the missile offline. Yeah, four borders is no joke. So we got the missile offline. How am I doing in my fights? I can go ahead and pull the rock. Heal you up. Okay, Brian, go ahead, get out of there. Should be fine. Mind control, are you guys actually gonna fight each other? Because that would be cool if you did. Solid. Uh, that was a little bit gross, but we got there. Three fuel, one missile, 34 scrap. Thank you, rescue. Thank you for rescuing us. They held us hostage for an ambush uh, for unsuspecting passersby. Please take this. Anti-personnel drone, 18 scrap, two fuel. Okay. Good rewards. Let's heal everybody up. Might have actually misjudged me, might possibly have a dive at the end, which I'm not happy about. Oh, I can skip this jump. Never mind, totally fine. Planned, planned, everything's okay. Everything is just okay. Totally, totally fine. One merchant seems mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. We will respond. His ship seems reasonably request. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. We will accept your uh, mission. Well, at least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here are their last known location. Okay. Two, three. Okay, so we can get these three jumps. Oh, 
What kind of improvements do I want to do before I actually get there? All right, let's go engines for... It's fine. Okay, two shields, boarding crew. All right, we have a chance for a crew kill here. Let's take out their weapon system first, just because I don't want to deal with it. the human and the rock just to deal with the uh, mantis here. Whoa, okay, never mind. They have a level 3 med bay. That does kind of uh, change things. Oh, you got that missile back online. That's not cool. Oh, good evasion there, even though I didn't have it maxed. Oh, I wanted to fight in the med bay. Dang it. Well, Mantis isn't going to uh, kill himself, so... True Fuel 24 Scrap. Okay, quest and exit. I really want to save up for level three shields. Scan for the lost ship. After a quick scan, you find the, the ship being chased by a pirate. Okay, three shields, a little bit gross. We have missile, charge ion, and is it just a basic laser. Okay, hopefully we can uh, take their weapons offline before it deals much damage. Do I want weapons or do I want shields? Three shields is a lot of shields. If they have any advanced piloting, it might not be, uh, might be a bit of a gross fight. All right, let's also make sure our crew is actually back in their positions. Okay, at least got one shield bubble down. That's an Artemis. I definitely have to take that offline. Got there. Let's not fix weapons. Just say no to fixing weapons. All right, I have no idea why I just went after that. I still need to take down their shields. Well, they're about to get hit for the uh, artillery beam. Okay, contact the delivery ship who are grateful for your assistance. They offer you a reward for saving them. 25 scrap, 2 fuel, and a combat drone mark 1. So this is the problem I have with the ship, because I really want that third shield, but I'm starting to have problems taking down ships with three shields. 
So I'm like really tempted to buy improvements to the artillery beam to get that online to increase our offense. It just feels like a, I hate having to choose. Let's see, your ordinary shows a battle some time ago. Let's go ahead and examine the station. It's in disarray. And nothing, but we can scrap it for 18. No, I actually had another jump. What are my options for next sector? Abandoned sector or civilian sector? I'm actually contemplating going to the abandoned sector. Normally you don't like doing it late abandoned sectors, but I'm kind of, I want fights for scrap. And aside from shields, we have nearly everything. All right, let's go ahead and go abandon sector. I need scrap, please. Empty jumps, not scrap. Intruders on board, third time for that event, also no scrap. Okay, I just screwed up there. Not detrimentally, but the Zoltan ran in and out of the uh, mind control, so it depowered it. store distress and that jump doesn't actually connect over. Well, I do have two things I can sell at the store. So we'll go here, a couple jumps before we get to the store. Immediately see a message upon arrival. Help! These metal bastards have gone crazy. The communication originates from the hull of a partially dismantled ship which lies among a number of other destroyed ships. Alright, so we see that they have cloaking. That's kind of going to undo our pre-igniter here. Clone bay and a teleporter. Teleporter. And a missile. That's okay, we're relatively close to a store, so let's go ahead and attack. So if that's only a heavy laser, two shields should be enough to power everything else. Double landing S. Okay, I want to open this door and then close it. And I'm just going to send everybody over there. 
Okay, except I just moved my doors person in, so that let them both in. Okay. Alright, I'll just have them fight amongst themselves. Alright, I need you to move to doors. And that's why, uh, double Lanius. Okay, I can't do anything about the missile system because their cloak was that long. Okay, we got the evasion that we needed though. Hopefully we softened them up enough that they try and teleport away. Alright, gotta go into an oxygenless room, unfortunately. Alright, I actually want to take down their cloaking. This is fine. All right, they have a clone bay. Fair enough. Okay, can I see in their ship now? I want to actually make sure I land these shots. Okay, don't repair that. They can fight. Yeah, Lanius bombers are terrifying because the, the boarding. The boarding is super terrifying. You saw how quickly two of them just sucked oxygen out of the room. Kind of uh, really focused on taking them out. Okay, heal. You can heal, the weapon system's still down. All right. Oh, spooky fight. 41 scrap, one fuel. Contact the civilian ship. 19 scrap and a repair burst. Uh, okay. I guess. Repair burst isn't actually a weapon. It just instantly fixes a room. Definitely stockpiling things for the store. I'm still a little light on power. Let's not turn off oxygen. I want to make sure my oxygen's maxed in case we get boarded again. Okay, we'll just take these three jumps in succession then. Atlantis Merchant appears to have a significantly improved translator, as you clearly understand the message. Metal content more than sufficient. Does your ship care to exchange resources for our extra metal? Is this the event where I can actually get a Lanius crew member? Okay, so uh, I can sell three drone parts for 28 scrap, which is super, super tempting. Or I can give them 40 scrap and I get a Lanius crew member. Uh, I think we'll just sell the three drone parts for 28 scrap here. To the store. Okay, drone control, you have a pike beam, heavy ion, chain laser. Chain laser. Now here's where the pre-igniter is actually pretty good. It's going to skip that uh, first charge time. It's going to bring it way down into what our normal weapons are. 
Active speed abilities only take seven seconds to charge. That would be really nice to get online. Okay, we don't need hull repair, we don't need an anti-personnel drone, we don't need a combat drone. Okay, I'm going to buy the chain laser. Can't get it online yet. Do I go chain laser, burst laser? Okay, we'll go ahead and get a couple repairs though. So tempted to sell the pre igniter for 60 scrap. This is okay. So I just need 50 scrap, and then I can get the chain laser online, and we should be okay. So you picked up a Lanius vessel drifting in this sector. Mind control teleporter. Alrighty. I think if I had a Lanius, I could do something really cool here. Let's see, a Lanius crew member, I could save a medium amount of scrapper weapons. Oh, if I had level two piloting, I get something absolutely ridiculous. Uh, scan the ship for life forms, fight the ship, scan it for fight the ship, investigate, fight the ship or get a low amount of scrap. Yeah, I just want to fight it. Power bar weapons and try to attack. If you power up weapons, they don't get a response. Uh, what now? Investigate the vessel. The vessel appears to be dormant. It is likely there are Linnaeus on board, but they are in hibernation. Ignore the vessel. Navigate carefully around the ship and strip it of... Yeah, I want scrap. All right, came online. Fair enough. You mind control my rock. Wow, double missile system there. And about to get boarded. I really want my shots to land to take this missile system offline. Okay, got the big missile offline. That was the important part. Okay, you can go ahead and uh, distract my rock. It's only level one mind control, that's not too bad. Until they border directly into piloting. That actually just became really bad. Okay, I can't... I'm not going to be able to uh, kick them out from there. CWP24, thank you for the host. Now uh, we are currently in abandoned sector, sector 5. Oh, don't. You. Okay, I can't do anything now. My piloting just got destroyed. They boarded with a second unit. Okay, if I can just take their weapons offline, then we're okay. Uh, 
Uh, it was actually intentional going here. I, I'd been getting too many uh, green sectors and I was just absolutely behind on scrap. shields guys so let's go ahead and send the rock over there to help my Zoltan okay who got mind controlled yeah I can't I need those weapons up need those weapons up okay they teleported one guy away Of course, my artillery beam, just as I was about to get it online. Why not? Why not? Can I actually get a kill? Thank you. Okay, you rock go in there. You two get out of there. You slowly make your way out of there as well. I really need you to move when I tell you to move. I can't dodge this missile. Yeah, so they... They mind controlled my pilot and then boarded into piloting is what happened. And they had a double missile system. I can't I can't accept 21 scrap. Oh my gosh, their missile system is still online. How? How is it still online? Please don't hit me in the weapons. Thank you. Okay, stop repairing stuff. Okay, you can go back to doing your engines thing. Are they just out of missiles at this point? No. You're gonna die, clown! Of course they would dodge 80% of my shots right there. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. That's super fair. Not exactly sure how that happened, but you know. Sure it makes sense somewhere. Okay, finally got an evasion on with that missile. Oh, it's down! And it's a fire! Okay, send the two rockets to do with the fire. Send the NG to help as well. Put you back on weapons. Of course you get mind controlled. I hate abandoned sectors. I just needed scrap. I was so ridiculously far behind on scrap. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I'm, uh, I was actually familiar with that. It's all good. Please keep that missile system offline. Please keep that missile system offline. <sighs> 46 scrap. Okay. Okay, that was that was gross on a, about a million different levels. That's the uh, second bomber we've had to fight this sector. Okay, but I do have 110 scrap. Is that enough? Nope, 15 short. Well, the extra hull damage was definitely worth it. What, we got an extra 20 scrap for probably only two hull damage. It's just the uh, sheer panic. Sheer panic. 
Okay. But I have a store coming up. We'll go to the Distress. The Distress is totally going to have enough scrap for me to get my chain laser online and things will start turning around. Uh, of course I'm going to attack the Lania ship. Okay, you have a missile, you have hacking, don't be a gross hack like I know you're going to be. Okay, mind control him. Okay, so we still have the small missile here, that's fine. I do have to repair that. Okay, everything but the missile is now offline. Now my piloting's off. Oh, a fire. Uh, can I actually go in there and help it? Because the hack is offline, right? No. Well, thankfully that's a rock and immune to fire, because that probably would kill any other crew member I had in there. Okay, so that's actually my plan is to shoot the missile down. Immediately back online. This is fine, this is fine. I'm gonna mind control the pilot, because my so my shots are pretty much guaranteed. Alright. Can't believe it hit us in the piloting again. You're an amazing game. Okay. 29 scrap. We contact the slugs. We take advantage of the firefight, they fly the system. I will. Ugh, I didn't even need that much scrap to. to uh, do I have something to sell? I don't, except for the pre-igniter. Except for the pre-igniter. It keeps wanting me to sell the pre-igniter. Okay, I can get one more jump before the exit. And it's empty. Missile shoots across the bow from the jump completes. Your scan quickly reveals a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. They hail you, damn it. We weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you could profit. Of course I have to fight you. I need scrap. Okay, you're like technically a reasonable ship. I appreciate that. I'm just gonna fire. I don't really care the order of the weapons. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven projectiles, two hit, five shields. Okay, that's fair enough. At least I got the hull damaging missile down. Got the missile system back up. That's not nice. A minor, minor potential for a crew kill here. Uh, nope, that's still not a good enough offer. Okay, now we have a really high chance of a crew kill. Okay, 
Zoltan's dead. I just have to hit the uh, Mantis once, and he's dead. Uh, so I need five projectiles. All right, pirates are all dead, leaving the ship dead in space. You scrounge what you can from the ship before contact gets swarm prey. 34 scrap, chance of double rewards. Oh my gosh. Thank you, the heavens, you showed up. We don't have much to offer as a reward, but our engineer should be proficient enough to patch your ship up a bit after that nice hit fight. 15 hull repair. Hull repairs are three scrap. So that is a 45 scrap reward. Nice. Okay. Uncontrolled Nebula or Zoltan controlled? Really? Uncharted or Zoltan? Uh, I guess we'll go Zoltan. I really don't have long range scanners for a Nebula. Okay, decent dive potential here. Getting possibly another two jumps. That's the third or fourth time I've had this event. Get that one guy out of there. We should win these two fights now pretty easily. All right, so I let's see, what do I need now? <laughs> hey Cass, how's it going? All right, we're in sector six, so I have seven stores. What am I gonna do with stores? All right, really early on in the sector. Okay, I have nothing that I really wanna sell. So, okay, we're fine on crew. We have seven projectiles for our weapon system and the pre-igniter means we are getting in uh, quick strikes early. I might have to start targeting shields. And mind control helps ensure that our shots actually land. I'm probably about three. You don't seem to be a sentient crow. I, I don't know how to take that. No, I haven't done a, I don't I haven't done a camera cast yet. I mean, ever. We're not, who does camera casts? All right, so I'm down by two power bars. That's 60 scrap. I'm gonna skip these stores for the time being. I really don't wanna go into nebulas because then my mind control doesn't work. Crow, so I expected a crow. Well, that's, you know, a lot of people have names with like animals in them and they're actually not animals. Like Wolf Blitzer is not actually a Blitzer. True story.
Oh, yeah, no, obvious. Right, yeah. Well, I, I guess he is a wolf. Some people aren't comfortable with being on camera. Having a face cam should not be the standard. Well, I don't feel those being a standard. It has more to do with that my, uh, my camera's probably low quality. And, like, the Mona Lisa, that is the visage of my face to be cast on low quality. Okay, what do we have here? You're gonna board us, uh-huh. You have a, a burst two and a charge laser. Okay, so that's a five powered weapon system. And a clone bay. So uh, I think we shoot them in the face a bunch. We'll wait till they board us with the Mantis, move the NG out, and then we'll be able to, we should be able to take down their weapons with ease. Or not wait at all. Okay, so we got the charge laser down. That means we're safe from this garbage. Okay, fire in the clone bay. I wonder if it's possible if I could take the NG out. Okay, NG gave up. Fantastic. So the NG's giving up. The Mantis is off let repairs. 15 health, 15, 19 health, and 17 health. All right, so we're gonna mind control uh, the repairing Mantis. They're gonna beat up each other. This is great. And now I just have to shoot him once for the crew kill. That constituted at least once. Four fuel, 55 scrap. All right, I probably should get at least one more power bar. So my engines are running at full the whole time. Okay, how trained is my crew? You're fully trained, Mantis is. Your envoy, you're automatically trained and you should be good to go as well. Okay, so everyone's fully trained. We have maximized our dodges with our engines full. I only have one system slot left over. But now we're sitting on 48 scrap. Okay. I will participate in your study a third time. Uh, crew commonly lines up for the Zultans, take your, their readings. After a short time, the process is done. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap, 25 scrap. I'm not comfortable with doing that myself because I'm afraid of the room's worst fear. I'm not even going to give a specific and it's very negative and dangerous thing that was rampant in 2015. That's, hey, hey I mean, he said, I don't, I know I don't do camera currently. I have contemplated it. I'll make it some reward or whatever. Also bandwidth things. I haven't actually tested it out yet. It's all good. Wow. Okay, that's three shields. That's a pike beam, a mini beam, an ion weapon. Is that it? Is that really it? The Zultan station near the beacon are happy to receive you. As they give you their formal tour of their ship, you spy some local star charts and mentally log the details. Okay, so this actually isn't even a fight. We just get a map of the sector. Okay, there's a ton of fights here. Ton of fights. Two, three, four, five, six. What is that? That's an asteroid field. I don't want to go to that one. Can I get all these fights though? One, two, three, four, five. That's because I have Sage right. 
Yeah, actually, I don't have street right, but then I, I did a lot of drama and speech in high school, so I'm kind of used to uh, performing, I suppose. It is a bit of a different thing, though, because where everyone can see you, but you don't actually get to see their actual reactions. I don't think the uh, rules of Twitch even allow for that kind of stuff anymore, Creeper. Of course, Twitch rules. All right, so that looks like a Vulcan and a heavy laser, so that's not too bad. The hacking is a little bit gross. If they're, It's a gross hack, and I don't know what kind of uh, drones they're going to have. The three shields, beam drone, totally fine. Ah, uh, there's your sketchy missile up there, repair drone. So the drones are not a problem. Vulcan shouldn't be a problem. It's just taking stupid damage from this missile. Okay, all the shots at their weapon system. My controlled pilot. Hope for the best. Oh, they hacked my weapons, you fiends. Have I seen IRL? I've seen a few IRL. But not really. I mostly go to Twitch for gameplay. If I have a feeling that if you want to see uh, breasts on the internet, that Twitch is the not best place to go. There are other options. I really don't concern myself with how other people get their views. You know, if people want to hang out in their streams, that's cool. If they don't, also cool. Like Instagram. Like Instagram. Okay, don't want you to get that missile back online, so let's just dunk your uh, weapons here one more time. Okay, that was a good shot. Here comes the missile. Oh, that's right. The hack. Maybe I should have shot the hack. Eh. Okay, only, it's only a Lado. One damage, that's fine. And the NG thing is going to repair it. Uh, so do I want to go wait for the mind control? Oh, not waiting for mind control. I still have to wait for my weapons to come online. There my, goes my mind control. How am I doing? Well, uh, all in all, I think I'm doing very well. My penguins won, and they're totally mine. I willed them to victory. So that was cool. Okay, I'm just going to hit them in their hacking and get that offline. So my weapons are online. Uh, no, they have won. So they're in the finals. They just won game five, so they're up 3-2 in the series. Uh, next game is in Nashville, and then if they don't win in Nashville, they'll go back home for game seven. Go Smashville. I have... Yeah, despite being a Penguins fan, I'm not like elitist or anything, but I've been really impressed with how Nashville has like the anthems and the celebrities that they have been doing. It's been really amazing to watch. They've put together a very quality uh, arena experience. Dude, I just shot your drone out of the air. And by air, I mean the vacuum of space. You, you know what I mean. Ship explodes, leaving behind substantial collection of useful scrap material. You say substantial, but it's only 37 scrap. That's not really substantial. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start improve, uh, upgrading my artillery beam. Could do it one more. Do I wanna do it one more? There's no more stores left in this sector. Sure, why not? So the cool thing is with the artillery beam is that it's the charge on it is just how much power you put into it. So at max power, it will charge in 30 seconds now. 
but it'll still charge even at minimum power. So I can just keep moving power into that system to increase its uh, charge time if it's uh, appropriate. Right, one, two, three, four, five jumps is here. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then exit. Okay. I didn't root for them because they are the home team. I could care less about hockey. We have lots of music stars here. There's a ton going on in the next week. I think I saw some mention about the CMAs. Hey, that's cool. I mean, I, I totally understand that people root for teams because of location or, you know, it's a family tradition. Okay, that's a large missile, but only two crew. So chance of crew kill here. Please take the missile offline. I would appreciate it. Okay, I can turn off the oxygen temporarily to power this up even more in case this fight goes really gross. Okay, missile going offline is not gross. That's fantastic. I know, I had a, uh, a friend in my German class who was... Uh, so I'm also like a Steelers fan and, and a Pirates fan because that's uh, my father spent the first 30 years of his life in Western Pennsylvania. Okay, we just kill him. And uh, no, I had a friend in high school who, or not high school, college, sorry, who was uh, super into uh, the Bengals. And he took it like really personal and I never understood it get a chance come on down have I been to Nashville I don't think I've been to Tennessee uh, why are you bribing me with this garbage I shouldn't say it's garbage the last time I killed a ship I only got 37 scrap seals are hated here I'm so 41 scrap um, yeah I'm aware of Penguins, Steelers, fans not being particularly well liked or their teams being well liked I can understand it. So I was actually really excited when uh, Columbus, Ohio got their uh, the uh, jackets and have a professional hockey team so I could actually go to a Penguins game. Because uh, uh, once Crosby, I didn't start following hockey until about 96. So, you know, I waited till after they won two cups with Mario and were relying on like Milan Kraft and uh, Rico Fada. Oh, yeah, that was good times. One, two, three jumps. To uh, try to win. And, uh, okay, missiles. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Whoa, that's a combat too. Let's target your weapon systems. And so I actually get to go to, like, a Blue Jackets game to watch the Penguins. And it was like 70% Penguin fans in the arena. And that's, that's just got to be annoying to deal with. You're not getting away. Do they actually not have a medical unit? Ooh. Fortunately, they have a ton of crew, and I really don't want to eat missiles. Uh, not exactly that surrender. Three Predator games, and I can't get into hockey. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone has their different tastes, and that's, that's so amazing because then you can get, like, you can experience what other people enjoy, which is always nice. But, uh, yeah, no, I've sort of, became, like, I, I did basketball for a little while until uh, a really fateful day between, I think it was the Pacers and, yes, Pacers and the Houston Rockets, 
in, when I was in Indiana. And, uh, like, Hakeem Olajuwon brutally fouled Reggie Miller at the three-point line. And the referees decided to call Reggie Miller for a foul. And then the uh, they just rained debris onto the court, even from the blood nose seats, striking other fans below him in the bowl. And I was like, really? Because that was just like an utterly atrocious call. Why would you do that? Okay, we're gonna get boarded here. You also don't have a medical unit. That's cool. I'm gonna wait for them to board. Go ahead and mind control the piloting. Please take down the rocket. Nice. Yeah, my Mantis and NG aren't gonna be a rock and a slug. No matter how hard they try. Okay, just keeping that missile system down. As long as I have three shields up, I'm safe. Let's go ahead and just switch the rock over into here. And once that's established, we can move the NG in here. No, not Mantis. Mantis, you did your job. I haven't been to a basketball game since Jordan retired the second time. Baseball puts me to sleep. Never miss football, though. That's fair. Okay, let's put somebody in sensors here and try and suss out how much damage we have. Okay, they're at 70 health, you're at 35, Mantis is almost dead, weapon system is still super down, now it's completely down. Let's fight for my amusement. Oh yeah, I can't mind control the slug, I totally forgot about the beam. No, bad beam. I want the crew kill here because you get 15% more scrap typically. Okay, you're at 18 health. You're at 17. I'm going to wait for my mining control to come back online and see if I can get them to fight each other. Oh, you ran through. That's awesome. So he only needs one shot to die now. Fight for my amusement. That's fantastic. You're dead. All right, no more life signs from the ship. We get to strip it of useful materials. Three fuel, two missiles, 59 scrap. Let's go ahead and heal up Charlie. gonna dive figure we would it was worthwhile just making sure that we got all those fights tons of scrap okay uh, giant missile and charged laser okay wait for them to board into weapons slightly gross not too much of a problem also don't have a medical unit here. Wow, that was pretty amazing uh, evasion that you had there. Considering your pilot was mind controlled, so maybe they have level 3 piloting. I'm not going to complain though, because like I said, I just wanted that missile system offline. And there's a fire. That's fantastic. Gonna go for a crew kill here as well. No more life signs. 57 scrap, 3 fuel, 1 drone. Okay, so we're out to 204 scrap. Alright, we're gonna dive here and I don't have cloak and I don't have hacking. So this is, it's going to be sketch. All 
right, I want one more power in my engines. I really actually don't know there's how much engines you need to get away from uh, the ASBs. It actually seems to increase uh, how much power you need, or the speed of which the ASB fires, but it also is somewhat random, so it makes it tough to judge. But I'm hoping five engines and fully train get us out of here. Uh, I can. Asteroid field detected. Kind of don't like it because it's an asteroid field. But, I mean, might as well. So that means I can't do any improvements there. Okay, so let's go ahead. If we're going to do that, which, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get a point in piloting as well. Not sensors. I don't need sensors. Okay. Okay, by attempting to access closed mining fields, again, the Zoltans, signs in your mining fields, like, that I'm not allowed in here. I mean, dude, I see a bunch of floating rocks in space, and I'm like, I want to get in on that. Fortunately, they do have a Zoltan shield, so I can't mind control them until I get that shield down. Shield is down. That was a little bit yucky. That's a three damage missile. Wow, the other one didn't go into the meta bay? I guess I should have actually kept an eye on my uh, sensors to see. You jerk. Oh, that was a really, really important evasion there. Okay. So we'll just uh, need a couple shots here to get the crew kill. Crew dead, you're able to take fuel out of storage. Five fuel, 52 scrap. Can't do any improvements, however. All right. Kill up crew, get oxygen to max, and then hope we can get out of the uh, this fight. That was a really good sector, though. I really would like to find cloaking or hacking in the next sector. Get level four shields. I would actually like a, def uh, a slightly better weapon setup, but uh, we can also just improve on the uh, uh, artillery beam. Okay. No ASB. Oh, this should be an easy fight then. I have no idea why I'm going to say it's an easy fight. I don't know it's going to be an easy fight. But I can't mind control here. So max out ASB, everything else here. Double missiles. You boarded the pilot. Oh. All right, human go in there. I want their shields down so I can maximize. I don't know if I'll actually be able to go all the way through their weapon system. And it's two Artemis missiles. Well, that's super gross. I'm only gonna get one fuel out of this fight. Okay, they just boarded me again. So boarding into piloting takes my piloting off. It actually slows down my FTL. It also lowers my evasion. So my absolute fear is if one of these missiles hits us in piloting, I lose crew. OK, 
Okay, he actually didn't lose crew there. I get their system down. All right, now I'm just gonna kill them on principle. Get that sweet, precious one fuel. Okay, heal up. Those two that I need to heal up as well. Totally was when I was gearing up to fight the ASB and forgot that because it's in a nebula, there isn't an ASB. So we're trying to get out of the fight that was sketchy with double Artemis missiles. So wait, it was a double Artemis to charge laser. What was the other weapon? Because Artemis missiles are two powers, the charge laser is three, so that was at least an eight-powered weapon system. Civilian or abandoned sector seven. Hmm. Let's see. Do I want near certain death or civilian sector? Okay, so Sector 7, I want four shields, I want another system, so I'm going to hold off on four shields for the time being. Why is it a certain death? Because it's a, it's not actually certain death, but it is abandoned Sector 7. Um, I've already dealt with bombers at level 5, and they kind of wreck us. So the problem is abandoned sectors have Lanius bombers, It's where and it allows like two Lanius to board our ships. And they can also be helped by having cloaking, missiles, hacking, uh, and mind control. They're the only race that actually can operate more than uh, three or two systems beyond what you, what you normally start with. And also bombers are kind of gross in that the systems are laid in a way where like if you had a really strong beam weapon, you can't take out several of them. And fighting off Lanius borders is just a bad time. Okay, so worst case scenario is just upgrading four shields and our beam, as well as some engines. But I really, like I said, yeah, cloaking or hacking would both be really strong for us. Cut fire in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. Okay, chance for double rewards. We can be a hero here. They do have cloaking and a teleporter. It's going to negate our uh, charge a little bit. Let's attack the pirate, though. Nice! Three burst twos. Okay. All right, I'm just going to vent. Jeez, that is going to be nine projectiles. Uh, yeah, okay, let's... If I can just get at least one of them down, that would be amazing. Two down is perfect. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do with you guys now? can't push them out. Yeah, go ahead, help out the NG. I'm gonna try and force them into the med bay by venting out the O2 from these rooms. Okay, mind control is offline, so their clone bay is offline. We can close the doors, turn on med bay and O2. I'll turn off my uh, artillery beam now. 
since we have things under control. Currently, that NG is going to be doing repairs at lightning speed. Yeah, triple burst too. That's uh, that's that's about as gross as it gets. Particularly, as long at least it didn't have level three cloaking, where I had absolutely like no chance to interact with it. But the only reason I do have a chance is because I had a pre igniter in like sector one. But at least they're going to be desynced now. That's actually really beneficial. Uh, nope. Okay, let's go ahead and mind control. Uh huh. Okay, the NG's at three health. 14 three, so I just need to do one damage to both of them. I think we have to kill the human first so he doesn't repair the clone bay, even though there's a breach there. Oh, that resist is nice. Maybe I can sneak in my two hole lasers. It is a pretty fast firing weapon. Cool. Pirates are dead. Leave the ship dead in space. Three fuel, 56 scrap. You were a little too late. The hull breach deprived the crew of oxygen during the fight with the pirate. You salvage what you can. 55 scrap. Nice. Hey, you're a storm. Okay, as much as I went level 4 shields, I wouldn't be able to afford cloaking if it's at that store. Alright, so let's go check the store out now. Heavy laser 1. I don't want to leave without that. Is that my only option? Heavy laser 1, really good. Man, whole laser 3 is also actually amazing. Wow. Okay, so whole laser three with the pre-igniter is pretty gross. It's three projectiles. Uh, I'd have to sell one of my other weapons to get that online, though. Eighty-seven scrap. I could afford it for seventy-five. Is that too greedy? Okay, that's that's actually too greedy. While it would be amazing to have it with a pre-igniter, just getting the heavy laser online makes more sense. And my weapon system should be fine. I mean, that's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight projectiles with the pre-igniter. That should be just fine. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the heavy laser. I have it ranked pretty highly because of its uh, good chance of causing breaches and fires. It's like 30% either, plus it deals two damage. You're fighting in the sun, okie dokie. Repair drone, that's fine. Try and dunk the weapons. Mind control evasion. Combat two shouldn't be too much of a problem. Weapon system down, fire. Okay, they do have a clone bay. That adds. I tried. I think we're just going to go for a straight up kill here. Uh, I will not accept surrender. Okay, one fire is pretty reasonable, so if you don't know, 
shields, having a shield bubble up is what determines how many fires get started. If you have a single bubble up or more, then um, you only get one to two fires. If you don't have a shield up, you can get as many as five. Good job. Distress, distress, cool. Uh, you arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between the two large rocks. Uh, yeah, we're going to use our beam weapon. The artillery beam actually does count as the beam weapon for the uh, blue option here. It's nice, no fight, 54 scrap. Okay. I want to know if there's a store here. We'll jump back here to this distress. Uh, I will hail you. As you hail the freighter, it it advances, weapons bristling from its hull. It's a pirate ambush. Filthy, filthy pirates. Okay, that's a lot of drones. And level four shields. Let's see if I can knock out their uh, missile system, though. Nice fire, solid. Okay, that's defense two, shield repair. Okay, gonna try and take out their uh, shield system now. I should be charging this. They might want to try and get away from this fight. Not gonna take your surrender. Enjoy having no shields. Forty-two scrap. No store. Okay, so a heavy laser, no idea what missile that is. Probably a Hermes. It's probably some artillery nastiness. Okay, the fire's good. Fortunately, didn't take out the missiles, which is what I wanted. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore them for a while. Maximize my evasion to dodge these two missiles. Not my sensors, you. Okay, now the missile system's down. He probably needs some help. I'm sure the NG thinks he's more than capable of taking two borders solo. Not the case. Scrap. This is like Sector 7. Alright, I can probably afford shields as well as. Shields are 180. No. If I got level 4 shields now, I still couldn't afford cloaking then. Right. Nothing to sell. We will get eight fuel or ten fuel when we jump to the next sector, so that's not a. And of course, we're already sitting at 22, as well as 10 hull repair. I would like full hull going into sector eight, though. 
27 scrap and a free anti-personnel drone. Okay, I'm okay with that. Just looking for that store. All right, unfortunately can't mind control here. At least not uh, their piloting. So we're just gonna mind control their borders. Okay, we'll go ahead and vent them out here since they decided to land there. All right, got the missile system down. Go ahead and mind control and just get out of there. Not even gonna deal with it. Okay, go work on that artillery beam. Oh, you're beat up too. Did you board in the weapons? Of course you did. Why wouldn't you board in the weapons? Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to like meet shield there for a little bit, NG. I love rearranging guys in the room. You can, you have to just order them out of the room and both of the groups out of the room or whatever parties you want to move and then you can reassign them in the room. Super nice strat to uh, when you're fighting in like closed quarters. So I don't know if that's a store or not. We'll see. Finding there, it's possible we find a store in sector eight. It's just really unlikely. Glide excess, how's it going? Uh, well, we are currently in sector seven pretty deep making our way to the flagship hopefully uh chance at double rewards yes please nah, you cloaking yeah mind control doesn't do anything against you So, is that just a heavy laser? So, no, okay. So, heavy ion burst and a heavy laser. It's a pretty safe fight. Now it's a super safe fight. Not too late. Got a nice fire going. So I found out if, if you start a fire even in an oxygenless room, it actually stops the uh, repair. Upgrade your door and use the space like a weapon when they're aboard. You mean venting? Door will block. Yeah, so that's actually why I have an NG on doors. I always put uh, prioritized doors over shields. So we get that level improvement to slow down borders. <laughs> that is some sick dodges. All right, can't dodge the artillery beam though. Three fuel, one drone, 29 scrap. The outpost hails you, the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed nonstop by these scouts. Take this on the house. 53 scrap. You're not the store. Okay, that is unfortunate.
All right, we will attempt to follow and help them. Reinhardt. Okay, that's cool. So definitely not particularly concerned with dealing with borders in phase three of the flagship fight now. We have a pretty strong crew, th plus three rock and a uh, mantis. Okay, we're just gonna put you in shields. It's sort of the, no, no, no. We'll put you in uh, med bay, sort of in the center of the ship since you're kind of slow. Uh, my envoy in engines is totally fully trained already. And I kind of like having a Zoltan where they don't have to move, plus I can occasionally cheese them into the uh, mind control to steal power back when I remember to do that, which I haven't for this entire run. Okay, I can't mind control you, fair enough. What kind of drones do you have? Okay, beam combat two. So it's the NG link second to help for the fire and the human with the shields. Well, right now my NGs are actually doing jobs. Again, he is improving my uh, door system and I do have mind control, so I need at least level two sensors to uh, see into ships. Uh, Sight and weapons on shield first. Yeah, so I do, it's uh, pilot engines, weapons, doors, then shields, unless I have like, need sensors for mind control. Uh, let's try and take out their weapon system. That would be Peachy King with me. Not the missile. Maximum evasion for the missile. Speaking of maximum evasion. All right, well, we got at least got their weapon system down. Didn't take any additional damage there. All right, we breached it. So AI ships can't actually repair breaches. And since they can't repair the breach, they can't repair the room. So that weapon system is down forever. Forty-eight scrap. All right, I'm still gonna hold out hope that maybe I can come to a store in Sector Eight to find a cloak or uh, hacking. Chance of double rewards here. Let's go ahead and aid that civilian ship. Zoltan shields. Okay, we got a fire beam, double ion bursts. Here's what kind of bomb that is. So this doesn't look like that sketchy of a fight. Okay, so it's just a small bomb. That's cool. Go ahead, mind control the Pilots. Enjoy the breach. Okay, and I'm not even concerned about evasion right now. Fifty-eight scrap. Contact that civilian ship. Apparently, the ship was being assaulted was a science vessel. They thank you for saving them with a small reward of fifty-four scrap, three fuel, one drone. Boop. 
Okay, let me check how my power allocation is now. That's everything running at max. Still forward cloaking. Okay, Sector 8, The Last Stand. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, where we were just delivering some data. That's all they ask. We just give them some data, and then we get to go home. It's, it's totally going to happen. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzel of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. We explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the uh, rebel flagship. It's the uh, missile launcher. You just repeatedly shoot it in the face until it dies. That's a, that's a secret. Don't, uh, don't go spreading that around on the internet or anything. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments and we will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you, what? You must succeed in destroying this flagship. Looks like we got a promotion. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. Alrighty, so we got our 10 hull. Where are my repair stations? Okay, there's that, that's a dead jump. Base, repair, repair. All right. As much as I want to actually hit that repair station to get the full hole, I'm going to skip out on it because I don't want to burn two jumps and then start diving, getting to the base, particularly since I don't have hacker cloaking. Okay, you have four shields. You have some drones, uh-huh. That's great. Indicate you are under attack. Shield charger. Okay, so that's a heavy two. Looks like a heavy one and burst. That is only five projectiles. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Uh, any damage to their weapon system should make this a pretty clean fight. Go ahead and get that in before the super shield blocks us from mind controlling. Okay, fire, that's fantastic. Get artillery beamed. time to salvage all of the wreck. The fleet is still nearby. Get ready to jump. 32 scrap. Okay, not a store, not a store. We were here, so that's also not a store. Ew. This is actually a pretty gross layout in hopes of trying to actually find a store. Oh well. Okay, we've got a Vulcan missile. And another missile. Check the air cool on doors. You go ahead and over say hello. NG help out. Fire all the weapons. Mind control. Okay, got one of the weapons offline. 45% dodge. Okay, it's only a Lado.
fire's really good. Thank you for that evasion. Nice dodge. No time, really, 25 scrap. Wow, this isn't sector two, this is sector eight game. Store, store. All right, I'll really actually not do upgrades. Of course we're going to attack the rebels and then we're going to steal supplies from civilians because that's how you get cool stuff combat 2 pretty big beam drone there and hacking my evasion well that's a jerk thing to do we do have four shields though Does their crew have? No, I pretty much wrecked their hole anyways. Probably should have turned off the beam to have a chance at the uh, crew kill the dodges. Well, you're not coming back. Does mind control the pilot? No. All right. It was a small, small chance they actually would fight and kill each other. No such luck. Um, yeah, I don't actually need scrap, so I'm not going to steal civilian supplies and risk potentially taking hold damage before the fight with the flagship. Okay, let's hop at the base and see if the repair is available. I would not mind having a full hull before the fight. You arrive at the Federation base to find the bulk of their fleet skirmishing with rebel forces. You hang back near the far side of the moon to avoid the conflict. There's not much you can do to help in the battle and your mission holds the key to turn the tide of war. You prepare to face the flagship. All right, so let's go to go ahead and get the repair. A couple extra scrap. It's on its way. All right, we need level two oxygen. So if they hack our O2, we don't die. I need level two sensors so that I always have the ability to mind control something on the enemy ship. Level two sensors is enough. Let's get a buffer point in weapons so they stay online, being able to take a single damage. I can pop the evasion, power it, and get one more bonus point in mind control. We don't need doors for the first phase of the flagship fight. Oh, all right, I'm going to take like a quick two, three minute break. I've been casting for almost three hours now without one. Uh, and then we'll come back and take down the flagship. So stretch, get a beverage, uh, whatever. And we will be back in three minutes. Thank you all for stopping by. And I'll see you on the other side.
Uh, all right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. You never really liked hacking, Bay. What? Hacking is only behind shields as like the best purchasable system. Hacking would make this fight so much easier. Um, about the only bad hack I can think of right now is if they hack our weapons. Ideally, what I'm going to be able to do is wait out phase one's cloak and shoot down their rockets or their missiles before they're able to even fire. Mind control who's ever in their shields to try and fill that up with as much crew as possible and then shoot it down for crew kills. But we're going to have to see what it's going to hack. That cloak is pretty good too. <sighs> oh, you always play standard. No oh, drone or hack, only cloak. All right, so this is it, the Rebel flagship. If we are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. So yeah, we have a level two cloak, level three hack. And if you're played on normal and easy, you may notice that the missile and laser rooms are actually connected to the flagship. So the general strategy of just, you know, taking down the missiles and being safe, eh, doesn't work. They can always fix it. Unless we kill off a bunch of crew. Fortunately, they only have level two engines, so 20% evasion if piloting and that is manned. All right, so they're gonna hack and cloak right off the bat and we'll go from there. Okay, piloting is not, yeah, piloting is okay. We do have three shields or four shields. Wow, okay, so they dodged most of that, right? Four, three, four, five. Okay, they dodged three shots. That's a little bit gross. That's cool though. We got a fire starting in the shield room. So fire in the shield room is really good. Even if I take some damage here, if I can just kill off like four crew, we should be fine for the rest of the fighting. Okay, that's fine. Got some crew kills. All right, they give up even putting the shields back online. They're gonna cloak before I get another volley off. Okay, I can't dodge here, that's unfortunate. Okay, we can vent. Nothing vital. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I can just take down the missile here. That would be pretty great. No, I don't have to always shoot. Too. Well, actually, I just could have fired all my shots. Uh, I did actually do the halberd gear. I'm taking a few points of damage isn't a problem because they do spread out their shots and I have buffer points across everything. So, I mean, they hit three systems, but nothing really valuable went offline. And we killed off a good chunk of crew. Okay, going for more crew kills here. Fantastic. Let's not have that come back online. That'll work. Three fuel, one drone, and 19 scrap. Okay, uh, did only took about four hits there, but we killed off a bunch of crew. It's gonna make phase three a ton easier.
so we're gonna stay at the base here while the flagship jumps away and wait for it to actually come back to us this way during phase three when we jump into the flagship it gives us the base as a safe jump back always so if you have to deal with a bunch of boarders you can just come back kill them off or you take some really unfortunate damage all right we're also going to open up all the doors because there's going to be a boarding drone that will breach us if we keep level two oxygen and all the doors open, it won't drain the oxygen and we can send our rock or various crew just to take it out quickly. This fight phase should go really well for us. Uh, I might just take out their drone system first. I don't know. I have a lot of options here because of the pre-igniter. Two, three. Okay, so they only have three crew left in the main ship. That's two boarders. You chase down the flagship by staying right where you were, and you discover it is heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it is re redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. All right, so phase two, we don't have to deal with the cloak hack or doors, but we now have this drone system with a combat one, beam one drone, a defense one drone as well as a boarding drone now there also will be an event where I think it's seven on hard mode maybe it's six uh, randomly generated combat one combat two drones will swarm our ship for a period of time uh, even if we destroyed the drones before that happens that doesn't actually impact the event from occurring All right, do I want to do shields, drones, or missiles first? See, taking down the drone system would be really nice. Okay, probably don't need that level two. Level one's gonna be sufficient. Let's go mostly shields. Actually, it's, it should take a while before the pilot gets there. Evasion's gonna be really bad. Okay, cool. Shields down, missile systems down. We got the other crew offline. Slight misclick there. Okay, we can just end this. Okay, so one fuel, one drone, uh, one missile. All the drones, like, yeah. So what's interesting about the drones is they're actually seeded after the first phase. So once you, or the first event, so every other event, you'll get the exact same drones, even though they're random. I saw Dolphin Chemist have a run where they were actually all beam drones. It's kind of hilarious. Nice. Took no damage that fight. We only have to deal with one border. 
We're still gonna jump into it just in case, quote unquote, something bad happens, but this should be really straightforward. Oh, no doubt that the drones can be extremely dangerous. That's why I had to go, like four shields and really high evasion helps. Also damaging their drone system takes off the, you know, the two constant drones. So we're not getting bombarded by as many uh, projectiles throughout the fight. Okay, so let's go ahead and I have 69 scrap. Hoi hoi. I guess I'll just get doors because why not? You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to a teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. So be prepared, this is it. All right, so we got mind control, a Zoltan shield that takes 10 damage instead of five to take down. And instead of a drone event, it fires like seven laser ones or seven laser projectiles of one damage. Also, it was three, level three mind control, the teleporter. So one's gonna board us. I can't use mind control on their ship anyways while the shield is up. So we can just use them on ours. Auto fire all the weapons. Okay. Oh, hey Mantis, you're kind of like my weapons dude. Let's go weapons. And let's do that as well. Okay. Cool, buffer point worked. Don't mind control my pilot, that's rude. Uh, so now this is where we get to see like the artillery beam do absolutely amazing stuff. Oh, good on this fight. Fire, that's not cool. All right, you guys can put it out. It should be okay. Uh, I, mean, I think we'll be fine. Their evasion should be pretty low since we already damaged their piloting, so it's operating at 50% of six engines. Yeah, I know my O2 is still at 70% though. Oh, ha, ha, I got hit. What a game. Okay, you two guys go ahead and repair shields. Uh-huh. Okay, missile systems down. Piloting's down, and uh, whole laser will finish it off. Neato. Hey, Patrick. Ah, oh, that was a little bit sketchy. Uh, I mean, it's. It was unfortunate not to have like cloaking or hacking for the final fight there. But um, thank you for the GGs. Oh no, not another one. Uh, it is 3 a.m. for me. I definitely would have lost that, that artillery beam. Yeah, I don't know about, I don't know about lost. 5, 4, 24. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably gonna be really slow scrap count considering we did a, quite a few green sectors, not a bunch of crew kills. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's see how we did. 54.85, wow. Para, solid guess, you win. Only 61 scrap off. 40 ships, 98 beacons, 1877. Okay.